Okay, so welcome back. This is Gamer Dom. I'm um, on El Halouf in the IS3A. Um, I just wanted to show it off again because I really, really enjoy playing this tank. Um, it is probably one of the best premium in the game now. Um, I would say. In my humble opinion, it is... Well, what's not to like? It's an IS-3, and it's premium. The armour is identical um, to the standard IS-3, and the, tar the gun is, uh, well, stats-wise, it's supposed to be slightly worse than the standard IS-3's gun, but it fires quicker. In reality, I don't find any real difference between it. Um, I find this gun as good, if not better, than the IS-3 standard. So anyway, I played this game today. I really thought it was a really enjoyable match-up. It showed the IS-3A really well off. And interestingly, um, it was one of those impromptu platoons. Um, I didn't need to platoon with anybody but this guy in the IS-3, the normal IS-3 asked to platoon so he probably needed it for a mission so I agreed and actually we ended up working really well together um, so we headed off down the normal way heavy alley onto the heavy corner uh, there's an IS-3 there on their side of the thing but he's in no position to fire I can tell there's nobody able to shoot down on us because our Skoda T-25 is up there and he's seen nothing so but there's a lot of heavies coming to heavy corner. The IS-3 standard is much quicker to the corner, so he gets up into a side scraping position there, hiding his lower plate. And I think, well, I can sort of side scrape off him, really. And that's what I do. And the two of us, first bounce. <laughs> and when you're in this sort of position in an IS-3, it's pretty much luxury. And there's more guys behind, so that's a Tiger too. we We've, <laughs> we've put two, two, two shots. And done nearly 800 damage already. Um, <clears> that was a bit cheeky. I hit behind the ice 3 but, you know, another shot straight into the, the flat plate of the Tiger 1. Don't know why the Tiger 1s are up here. That time, my buddy ch turns around slightly. I can't quite aim, reload quickly enough to put another shot into him. Uh, but there's a, a KV-85 with a turret turn the other way, so you have 414 damage, mate. Um, and that's the sort of thing this gun is brilliant for. So you can see, it reloads really quickly. And that was my first miss. I tried, thought I could hit the corner of his turret there. And I did hit it, but I obviously didn't hit it properly because it didn't pen. And here comes that, it's that same KV-85, KV and I just tracked him right in the open. He's now going to die. So. You know, we're just destroying these heavy tanks here. They just don't know what to do to us now. Yeah, that's, another, that's my kill. Um, I'm bouncing shots left, right and centre. I've actually only been hit once for damage. And that was by, I go twice now, the Lorraine. Arty. Um, and it's obviously not a full-on hit because... Can I... Oh, I nearly shot the... Uh, I'm trying not to shoot my allies here, which makes it rather tricky. Um, so it's getting a bit busy, but I managed to put one into the uh, IS-3, and then I noticed they're coming round our other side. So I push round, not quick enough because that T-32 managed to get a shot at me. But I'm thinking, right, well the other corner's fine. Can I can I side scrape on this corner and do the same sort of thing on this side? So let's see what we can do. So I've taken 11 shots. Actually, only one's properly penetrated. That was a bit of a wasted shot. I took that too soon. T-34 isn't quite brave enough to come round because there's a Tiger II supporting me. But that fella is, and he regrets it. VK-36H getting absolutely pummeled. Uh, the Spick, oh, he got taken by the Jumbo up there. The Jumbo can't pen me, frontally. Not unless I show him my lower plate, and from up there, he, there's no way he can do it. Not unless he can bounce the shots. So you can see, we've just, this is just a heavy tank graveyard around here. Absolutely heavy up. But the game's still afoot, and um, uh, 
But then <laughs> Jumbo just decides to go there. I don't know what he was thinking, whether he thought it was being covered. But uh, he's... Um, the gun depression there got me a bit, but, you know, whatever, I had time, there's nobody threatening me. And I can just go up and give him a little gentle nuzzle in the bum. There we go. <laughs> and we'll just finish him off just for, just for good. So, there you go, that's pretty much everything dead round here now. So there's a couple of, uh, we've lost all our allies that are on the corner. There's an ST, um, IS-3 and a Tiger II left. Um, IS-3 doesn't seem very keen to fight, so he's hiding behind all the dead wreckages, but I can still hit. If he gives me that angle, I can put it in through his um, mudguard area. I haven't fired a single round of... Um, oh, and the Spix killed the Tiger. It wasn't a Tiger II, it was a Tiger One. And there you go. Game over. It was just a bloodbath. I mean, just an absolute bloodbath. Great fun. So I think you can say the IS-3A still got it. Um, that was a perfect game, to be absolutely honest. We uh, got to the corner. The IS-3, who wanted to platoon with me at the beginning, um, got in a really good position. I backed him up. Um, to be honest, the guys came coming around the corner just didn't seem to know what to do. Um, they tried to come around to the right after we'd held them on the left, and um, I was able to go around there and... Um, Cause some merry hell that side as well so you know we ended up with a f it just shows though i mean that was a really good game one of the best games i think i've had in this tank um and it's only worth the first class so there are some fantastic players out there playing this tank it is if you know what you're doing um you get people who don't really know how to deal with an is3 um it's just a bully it's a complete bully in its own tier so first class <laughs> bruiser yeah bully uh, Duelist, Fire for Effect, and Shellproof. Oh, and we also got High Cal Hal Calibre, <laughs> um, and Steel Wall. Finished up top of the pile on both damage and XP, which is nice. Um, 3,600 damage, 3 kills, 1,300 net um, experience. And look at that, you know, if you get, it's what you've got to do with this tank, you need to get it in people's faces. 13 shots fired, every single one of them. Oh, everyone. That, 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 that. That skull still got me. So, that's my excuse, I'm not just stupid. Well, maybe I am. 13 shots fired, 11 hits, 11 penetrations. So every, every one of the hits penetrated, and we only missed two shots. Um... 3,600 damage. We received a whopping 11 hits, and only one of them was a penetration. We bounced 10 of them, uh, and we got a couple of splash hits, which is the RT trying to range in on us. Blocked 2,885 damage. So you know, <laughs> you can't ask for much more than that. The armor on the IS-3 is is troll. This armor is exactly the same. If you can get in a side scraping position or a hold down position, you'll bounce shots all day long. Um, if you don't allow them to get to that weak spot on the top of your turret. Uh, bop, bop. And look at this. I mean, this is why I love this tank. 111,987 credits. Even after... Did we fire some APP, um, heat? I think we did a couple of rounds, maybe. Even after all that, net profit of 91,109. I mean, jeez. It's just a gold mine, this tank. Um, you just have to do a reasonable amount of damage, and you get 50,000 credits easily in this tank. Um, and it was, a it was a times two of the day. With the premium bonus, the crew got 4,000 experience. And, you know... Look at this crew. I started this crew on about 50%. I've paid, maybe not, maybe not 50%, maybe it was around about 70% on the first skill. Um, 54 games now. Uh, they've all got one skill, and they're halfway through the second skill already. Um, you know, it's a three-man crew, so if you get that 4,000 odd XP, it's only been shared by three crew members. So, they get a lot, proportionally a lot 
more and they train up much quicker. Now I did something which I'm not sure everyone will do, but I put a specialist crew in this tank um, because it's not a good crew trainer. We need only three man crew, so what are you going to do with your extra man that's in your other Russian heavy? I thought this is a fun tank, I'm going to use it as a credit generator and just something to have a laugh and enjoy playing. Um, so I put a specialist crew in, that's why I'm doing that. Uh, they've all got one set of skills, uh, they're halfway through the second, when that, when they get to 100 I will probably swap that out and put in Brothers in Arms and then restart them all on um, repairs again. So, that's a lovely tank.